हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संतोष काले असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग मणेगा बी के बारामती टुडे वी विल डिस्कस क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ सिग्नल्स वी नो दैट सिग्नल्स कैन बी क्लासिफाइड इनटू डिफरेंट टाइप फर्स्ट कंटीन्यूअस टाइम एंड डिस्क्रीट टाइम सिग्नल सेकंड डिटर्मिनिस्टिक एंड नॉन डिटर्मिनिस्टिक सिग्नल third periodic and or periodic signals even and odd signals and energy and power signals the first type of the signal is continuous time signal and we know the basics as its name indicate continuous time signal so continuous time signal is continuously defined for all the time and for all the time instant amplitude values are present therefore the name it is given continuous time signal all the signal which are continuously vary with the time are called as continuous time signals so this is the graphical look of continuous time signal the time values are present on x axis and all the amplitude values are defined on y axis so the best example of continuous time signals is human speech or sinusoidal signal may be sine wave form or cosine wave form are the example of continuous time signals next type of a signal is discrete time signals in discrete time signals the values of a time are discrete and the amplitude values are continuous in nature so the type of a signal is called as discrete time signal signal that has a value for only specific point in time are called as discrete time signal so discrete time signal can be obtained by the process of sampling so continuous time signal is taken and then with the help of sampling continuous time signal is converted into discrete time signals by taking the value of original wave form at specific interval in time like the discrete time signal can be represented as x of n and the example of a discrete time signals are wave file of mp3 in matlab to plot the discrete time signals we are using the stem command and to plot the continuous time signal we are using the plot command so this is all about discrete time signal next type of a signal is deterministic and non deterministic signals let us understand what is deterministic signal so behavior of this signal is predictable with respect to time so deterministic signal can be mathematically expressed by using some equation for example x of t this is equal to sin of 3t this is the mathematical expression and by using this mathematical equation deterministic signal can be easily predictable so there is a lot of surety for the deterministic signal this is the graphical look of deterministic signal for x of t equal to sin of 3t let us understand what is non deterministic of random signal so behavior of this signal is random means we cannot predict the output of such a signal with respect to time therefore it is called as non deterministic or random signal so there is a lot of uncertainty related with this non deterministic signals so this signal can be expressed mathematically for example the thermal noise generated is nothing but the non deterministic signals so noise is the best example 
to describe random signal of non deterministic signal next type of signals are periodic and non periodic signal let us understand first of all the periodic signal if we consider x of t is a continuous time signal and x of t is a periodic if and only if x of t equal to x of t plus t0 for any values of t and any integer n if this condition is satisfied then x of t is said to be periodic signal let us consider one example x of t equal to a cos of omega t now let us find out what is x of t plus t0 replace all the values of t by t plus t0 so right hand side can become a cos of omega t did replace by t plus t0 so this will equal to a cos of omega t plus omega t0 after expanding this bracket and this will equal to a cos of omega t plus 2 pi and finally you can get this will equal to a cos of omega t so we can say that x of t equal to x of t plus t0 this condition is satisfied and the signal is repeated after a certain time interval t0 therefore the given signal is periodic in nature so we have t0 equal to 1 upon f0 and omega equal to 2 pi f0 so this is all about periodic signals let us understand what is non periodic signal so for non periodic signal x of t is not equal to x of t plus t0 if this condition is satisfied then given signal is non periodic signal a non periodic signal is assumed to have a period capital t equal to infinity and the example of non periodic signal is an exponential signal are the best example to describe the non periodic signals next let us understand the periodicity for discrete time signals so we already know periodicity condition for continuous time signal simply you can replace the variable t by n and if x of n equal to x of n plus capital n capital n represent the period if this condition is satisfied then given discrete time signal is periodic in nature second important condition for satisfying the above condition the frequency of discrete time signal should be the ratio of two integer that is f0 equal to k upon capital n and this is the condition to have the discrete time signal periodic in nature next let us understand what will happens if you add two periodic signals let x of t equal to x1 of t plus x2 of t let us find out what is x of t plus capital t so replace variable t by x1 of t plus m1 t1 and this t get replaced by t plus m2 t2 m1 t1 this is equal to m2 t2 and this is equal to t0 represent the fundamental periods if we consider t1 equal to 2 pi upon pi upon 3 you can get 6 and t2 equal to 2 pi upon pi by 4 this is equal to 8 for this given example so t1 upon t2 you can get 3 upon 4 t1 upon t2 you can get 3 upon 4 which is nothing but rational number so this is related to this examples what will happens if we add the two periodic signals now let us understand the sum of periodic signal may not be always periodic 
if you consider x1 of t plus x2 of t x1 of t as a cos of t and x2 of t as a sin of square root of 2t just find out what is t1 this is equal to 2 pi upon 1 2 pi and t2 equal to 2 pi upon square root of 2 so if you obtain t1 upon t2 then you can get square root of 2 and square root of 2 is irrational number and therefore we can say that sometimes sum of periodic signals may not be periodic we have x of t as a periodic for this particular example now let us consider one example and let us find out whether the x of t is periodic in nature or not let x of t equal to cos square of 2t minus pi upon 3 consider x of t equal to cos square of 2t minus pi upon 3 let us substitute cos square of theta this is equal to 1 plus cos 2 theta upon 2 do this substitution for this equation can be written as 1 plus cos 2 theta it is nothing but 2t minus pi upon 3 upon 2 as it is expand this bracket you can get 1 plus cos of 4t minus 2 pi upon 3 now let us find out what is x of t plus capital T so replace every variable of t by t plus capital T so this equation can be written as 1 plus cos of 4 in bracket t plus capital T minus 2 pi upon 3 upon 2 now expand this bracket you can get this is equal to 1 plus cos of 4t plus 4t minus 2 pi upon 3 upon 2 after simplification you can get 1 plus cos of 4t minus 2 pi upon 3 plus 4t upon 2 now let 4t equal to 2 pi then t equal to 2 pi upon 4 or this is equal to pi upon 2 therefore x of t plus capital T can be written as 1 plus cos of 4t minus 2 pi upon 3 plus 4 put the final of t equal to pi upon 2 and simplify this equation if you simplify this equation you can get finally cos square of 2t minus pi upon 3 and we know that cos square of 2t minus pi upon 3 is nothing but your original signal x of t so we conclude that x of t plus capital T this is equal to x of t therefore the given signal x of t is periodic in nature with the period capital T equal to pi upon 2 so this is all about the classification of signals next part we will see in the next screencast Thank you very much.